Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Adigity. This is another match, I believe, from the second set of the North American team battles. Gypsy starting the upper right hand corner as the blue turn bottom right hand corner. We have Crossy starting as the purple Zerg. And if you guys have not already followed these guys on Twitch, please go to Gypsy93, follow. And if he's live casting, let him know I say hi. It's almost like the Stella Mycentia sort of thing. Mostly because I want more of these replays is what it comes down to. This is on Polypoy, by the way. Same deal with Crossy, C-R-O-S-S-I-E-E -E on Twitch. Although I've seen him streaming a little bit less often, which is unfortunate because he is a fantastic player. This is on Polypoy. These are games were from August 6th. I'm not sure who to favor, to be honest, because both these guys are huge threats at the top of all competition in North America. Arguably the best Terran and the best Zerg, one direction or the other. There might be... Definitely contention for both of these guys. I think a lot of people would say, yeah, Gypsy is definitively probably the best Terran. I do believe that Crossy has a degree of competition, although I can't think of the last time that I saw Crossy lose a match in any form of competition anywhere, or even streaming or replays or anything. He's, he's a beast. He's an absolute beast. Anyway, Gypsy. Going to go ahead and plant down that barracks. For a potential, I mean, technically you go front door CLO. I think that's just to have a forward location to reinforce Marines. It looks like this Overlord is scouting to the north, so it is going to have an early spot on Gypsy's base. SCV making its way out. Looks like we're seeing a 12 hatch on the opposite side from Crossy. One thing with Gypsy, I'm not sure if I want to say definitively that his TVZ is the strongest matchup because of his rivalry with Jayun, but I will say that his TVZ is extremely strong, and I do feel like that... Might be my favorite rivalry out there. Maybe actually Futures versus 80s Mullet a little bit higher. But it's one of my favorite rivalries. <laughs> Top two <laughs> between those two. Overlord making its way up. Hasn't quite spotted anything yet. But I like what... Actually, this was a nice adjustment by Crossy. The SCV entered his base. He knew he didn't see it come across his field of vision. So he's going to readjust his drone. And actually, now that the Overlord sees the SCV coming down, it looks like building Command Center. Interesting. Not even bothering with the Marine, off seeing that 12th hatch. Spawning pool and extractor are down. Crossy doing a quick adjustment, a little thing, just to get a little bit more mineral out. And could have got an earlier scout. Here, I believe that Overlord... Huh. Vision not... I'm wondering... Oh, it's used map settings, I believe. So I can't do the vision thing on this. So, second hatch is going to be up. Gypsy is going to have a first scout. But at the same time, opposite corner... Crossy has a decent amount of scouting information. At least he knows he's going up against an earlier command center. I'm wondering if Gypsy... So I think he's hanging around looking for these Zergling eggs to hatch. He's not sure whether these are drones or Zerglings. He's the first grouping of Zerglings. Keep in mind, he went for aggressive economic opening. Upon seeing that second pair, he should be plopping down a bunker of some sort. Somewhere. Because I do not believe this is sufficient Marines to go ahead and defend this. It looks like he is going to move forward, plop that bunker down. Zerglings making their way up, incoming. And again, I'm not sure if this Overlord has range or not. It looks like Crossy's going to pull up short, though. And Layer's already halfway finished. So he's going to bring his Zerglings back to go ahead and try to deny the SEV scout. However, Gypsy has to feel, looking at all this, that he's going to go up against two Hatch Muta. And Crossy's Mutalisk Harass is superb. Absolutely brutal. Zerglings were expecting the SCV to go along that lower corner. He wants to keep it alive. He sees the drone nearby. I'm not sure that he got a good look there. Trying to cycle around does not make it. But I do believe he's got to expect that he's going up against two Ash Mutalisk and should prepare accordingly. Getting an early academy. I think this is early. This is where my Terran versus Zerg is less proficient. Don't know the timing all well the build orders, but I believe, I believe what is happening here is he's got, he's skipping a third barracks engineering bay. Zergling's moving up to the front, by the way, with that bunker coverage. And he, what he wants to do is he's go ahead, get this academy out, get an earlier stim, get a few more medics and marines out a little bit more rapidly to apply pressure on Crossy. Crossy, and maybe force some sunken colonies, maybe even take out this third. Crossy's going into, uh, it's interesting that he opted to go ahead and take the lower expansion rather than going for the expansion up the ramp, which tends to be a little bit more defensible with Lurkers as a follow-up, which leads me to believe that Crossy is, in fact, just going to 
potentially, and this is not 100%, but potentially just dedicate a lot of Mutalisks and just go straight Muta and try to win the game from there. We'll see. Common meta I've seen just prior to this. I think current meta is, I'm not sure what current meta is, Crazy Zerg, but I feel like the meta I've seen a lot of this is go ahead and get this Spire rather than going for, and there's, there's Gypsy going ahead and moving out with those medics and marines, is to go ahead and secure your third gas, get lurkers out, Hold the ramp. And the bunker's empty. The Zerglings get a run by into the main. An additional Marine going down. Every Marine counts for those Mutalisks that are going to be on the way shortly. That is six Mutalisks. And Crossy actually splitting off a handful of Zerglings here and there. So where Gypsy wanted to go ahead and apply pressure to that front and maybe force some sunken colonies, these Zerglings instead wreaking havoc in his base going all over the place. Zerglings actually sneaking back great micromanagement from Crossy splitting the attack forces, really taxing Gypsy, was able to get an SEV kill there at the natural expansion, and that's also forcing Gypsy back into his base, so no Sunken Colony is going to be forced. Uh, forced. This hatchery is going to be secure in this bottom left-hand corner, and Gypsy is not going to be able to apply any sort of threat uh, to Crossy, and here's the Mutalisks already, before that first hurt's even up. So in the midst of all that chaos, Gypsy also... Falling a little bit behind on his turret placement. You, obviously, you want to have turrets up by the time the mules are here. Still manages to get it up. Nice play in that regard. I think this was intentional, getting a single marine into that bunker. Also, two turrets are there near that natural expansion. Zerglings going up to try to poke at that. And maybe, with the Zergling support, might be able to take both these turrets down. That is eight mutalisks. And yeah, able to wreak a lot of havoc. We see four more Mutalisks and level 1 weapons being upgraded. So it does look like Gypsy is going to do the full dedication to Mutalisks alone. With those turrets down and Gypsy out of position to defend it, he's going to go ahead and pull out and start now applying pressure. He wants to get these Mutalisks out of his base so he can reestablish some turrets, get some breathing room. Is It looks like is resaturating and doing that now. The Mutalisks tracking with those Marines. More than a full control group now. And I think that's enough to repel. I think just with Mutalisks alone, he has enough to repel. And that is two Sunken Colonies on the front. Comsats whirling. I believe Gypsy did scan the front. And I think with the number of Mutalisks out in the air, it looks like he is... I think he realizes that he is up against a larger potential Mutalisk threat. And pure dedication in that regard. So he's plopping down perhaps with that Comsat and missing a Hydralis den. Perhaps just his gamer instincts, put it in, and just seeing like the, and I think it actually it might just come down to realizing that it was more just than the initial eight dedication, and he's seeing more mutalisks popped out. Crossy losing a mutalisk, he wants to preserve these as long as possible. Actually, losing two mutalisks, so Gypsy with some nice wins right here. He has level one weapons just about to complete. That's going to be there right as the mutalisk level one weapons comes online, catching him out of position. And getting another slew of damage. Maybe overstimming a little bit. Needs to be very, very careful. And Crossy having some trouble. I'm not sure if it's a lag. And now Gypsy actually making... So reinforcements getting picked off by these Mutalisks. But Gypsy leaving a bit of a crew here to deal with these Mutalisks. But also splitting off an attack force to go ahead and engage. And I think he lost an SCV there in the front. It going ahead and pushing up to engage this very undefended... Bottom left-hand base. The Mutalisks in flight to go ahead and defend this, but the drones are already getting wiped out. It looks like they're trying to retreat to the north. Two Marines getting pulled off, and they, he might even end up losing this hatchery. And th three gas is critical for any Zerg. Those Mutalisks clearing out the Marines without the medic support. Another group, looks like Gypsy dedicating the second group of medic Marines to that bottom left-hand corner. Wants to wipe that out. He does another grouping of Marines making their way down there. Crossy making his way halfway to Hive. He has Queen's Nest as well. So this is interesting. He did get the Hydralis Den, but it looks like he opted to skip Lurker Tech and decided to just stick with Mutalisk Tech. And is continuing to just pour out the Mutalisks. Potentially just looking at maybe uh, later Starports, or I'm not sure what the, the reasoning is there entirely. Nice micro on Crossy, completely wiping out this attack force in the bottom left. And it looks like the medic's going to get wiped out as well. The Marines actually rejoining. Crossy losing yet another Mutalisk. It's only six Mutalisks to try to defend. He's continued to produce the Mutalisks to try to get there. But it looks... Is Gypsy going to be able to do it? It's a race against time. He's got another grouping of Marines trying to make their way across. But there's more and more Mutalisks. And the Mutalisks are starting to outnumber the Marines, so it looks like he's going to be able to clean this up and hold 
which means it looks like Crossy is going to be able to go ahead and clear out another grouping of Medic Marines and establish his third gas. So things looking... And also, I don't think there's any science vessels out in the air yet. Science vessels just now in production. This is a huge, a big slew of Mutalisks that are still standing. Three gas still there for Crossy. He's getting some lurkers on his front. The Filer Mound going up. So he's able to establish three gas and everything he was looking for. We do see five barracks. The science vessel is not quite there yet. And honestly, this is kind of a skeleton crew to deal with these Mutalisks. They can very, with that level 1 weapons, they can very quickly take down turrets. Grouping up and using Gypsy Sim City against him. Very effectively, just skewering those Marines. And it looks like, I think Crossy at, wow, was that just mental timing or what? Pulling out right as those science vessels coming online. Irradiate is not yet there. So Gypsy's very much pinned into his base. In potentially a bit of trouble here. Now that science vessel able to spot that Overlord, take it out, out over the corner, that's putting... Crossy in the red. Some lurkers are now joining the fray. And the lurkers are well up to this natural expansion already. This is Danger Town for Gypsy. Still no irradiate on these mutalisks to thin that herd. And the lurkers are pressing forward. Crossy wants to end this game now. Pushing into the natural expansion. No Marines or Medics left. SCV's coming off the line, but they're going to have to group up around that bunker. And those lurkers in that single line obliterating them. The Radiate's actually dropping on the Lurkers rather than Mutalisks, but the Mutalisks still doing immense amount of damage overhead as they are being just pounded by those turrets, but I believe Crossy has done it. Three Lurkers still stand. He's probably going to have Defilers here in just a moment as well. That Defiler Mound is up. Consume is just about finished. And Gypsy, in the meantime, does not have a grouping of Medic Marines to his name. His natural expansion is breached, and momentarily it looks like that drone, battle drone, out on the front, sacrificing his life for the cause. Love to see it. For the, for the, well, I guess not the horde, for the swarm, for the swarm. They're basically, Zerg are basically space orcs, we can agree on that, right? Anyway, Crossy pushing up, has position on the ramp, it's going to be very difficult for Gypsy to evict this grouping of lurkers, particularly with that swarm in the way, without fire bats, without a lot of the tools you'd want. I guess fire bats aren't exactly what you want at this stage. You just don't want lurkers here in the first place. But as he's positioning here, the lurker, he is getting some irradiates down. Needs more science missiles in the air uh, to deal with this if he's ever going to get his natural expansion back. But while this is happening, more lurkers, more defilers are starting to match, march out to his main. This is a desperate situation. Repositioning this barracks, realizing that wasn't going to happen. Trying to pin the Lurkers out. Out of the Dark Swarm. Nice maneuver. Let's see if he can clean up the rest of this. Able to take another Lurker down. But there's still one Lurker standing. Loses the rest of those Medic Marines. And Gypsy realizes it is too little. Too late. Crossy able to seal that three gas. He had more Lurkers nearby. Defilers waiting to take that natural expansion. Did have the Science Fleet. Science Vessel Fleet overhead. Nevertheless, a fun one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, special thanks to Gypsy. And Jane for getting me these replays. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the match. Go follow both of them. You can let them know that I sent you. Also, go follow Jayun and Sugo. Sugo BW is uh, his Twitch account. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.